December 10th, 2013. Guys, we're looking at Earth-facing images from Soho. Now, notice the timestamp before midnight last night. Now, this is universal time on the stamps of just about every satellite that you see. But what it's coming from is 1921, and that sunspot's growing fast. I don't want to point that out. It's just rated in the bottom there as an alpha in, in the magnetic classification. The only thing that's uh, double configurated is 916 on the other side, but it's growing fast, and I'll show you some of the activity. There and in the area just below it, watch, there. So we've seen these groups tie together, and it's a large area, so we're going to have to watch it. Top right, you have a filament. You have a filament in the bottom right under that sunspot. Here on the HMI, also, guys, you can see that area. It's not just that sun, sunspot, the large dot, but the entire area around it is uh, becoming active. And they peak on the 13th and the 14th. We've been going through them, though. But uh, this is going to be one of the large years. It may be as many as 120 meteors per hour. And they move slow. They're at 78,000 miles per hour compared to some of the other ones are twice that fast. That's why you get a longer, more brilliant glow. And they're coming from Phaethion now. NASA says it's an asteroid. I say it's an, an old comet that broke because it still had enough charge in 2011 to flare up as it came near to the sun. But notice that uh, some of the other comets in the bottom, uh, excuse me, some of the other meteor showers travel about twice that fast. Now, here's a site called Meteor Watch, and I'm going to link to them, three different sites plus the uh, space radar. But what this does is it gives you incoming reports like here. This came in from the U.K. two hours ago of a fireball. It gives you the direction. Here from Brazil, a meteor two hours ago also. Now, this is dated back uh, as I started the video pr around 7 p.m. Central Time. Also, I'll link to the... Uh, Lunar Meteorite Hunters page. It also has a map, and I'll show you to where reports come in. So if you see them, you can check this out. You can even come in and sign in and report. But this page will have that information. You can scroll down it, guys. It has the uh, section of the sky to where your uh, Geminides will be coming from. And we've got a bright moon if you're in clear sky. So late, they're talking about later in the night. But there's a report from Japan from a couple of days ago. Here's the sky map. Tons of information here. So, again, we're going to link this. And I want to show you here either on the 10th, 13 fireballs were reported. Two of them Geminides, one a Sigma hybrid, nine sporadic and then one de December of the Monoceratids. But uh, the sun's in the yellow dot, the earth is in the blue dot. Here's another site, guys, Space Radio. What happened when they defunded, uh, the government defunded Space Radar? They took down the U.S. Air Force radar in Texas. Some guys got together, went over to Arizona, and put together a 50 megahertz antenna <clears throat> called a Yaga antenna. And you can come here, I'll link it, and it will give you a ping when one of these fireballs come over. Maybe it's too cold or it's too cloudy or rainy where you're at. But it will give you, you turn it on, it's kind of like a scanner, and then you get that old submarine-type ping. Now, guys, if you noticed on Bruce Gary's site, on the 6th of uh, December, he, they were trying to track it. And remember, Bruce is the one that first recovered it. Well, what he's saying is uh, they were having trouble. Now, he at first I thought he was trying to say that this uh, image with the tail was Iceland, but he doesn't say that, but he does says the orbit has been changed, and that's what I was talking about on the video last night, guys. It's not where the models are saying it is. So if you're trying to track Iceland compared to Lovejoy, you're way off bounds. You're off by two to three days on your tracking Bruce Geary, again, this guy is an astronomer. His credentials are very strong. And he's saying that it's off track, too. But remember, in the video two days ago, I showed that we're, even though at that time they were different locations, they both crossed at 0.627 AU from the Earth. And that's what we saw. But again, the, these guys know it's off. And uh, they're tracking it also. Now, Bruce is using ground-based instruments. He doesn't, 
he's I'm not talking about NASA. He's an independent astronomer that used to work and did a lot of uh, design work uh, when they were doing radar imaging for the moon and things like that. It's a real long resume. But again, he's tracking it, trying to track it. But the orbit has changed. And that was my point. And that's why I'm saying that we may have that rendezvous with that tail disconnect. It's a heads up, guys. Check out the Gemini's be safe.